So let's talk about begin and code blocks. So in SQL, we use begin and code blocks to define a statement block, which is really a series of SQL statements that run together. Sometimes a statement block is also called a batch. The usage will become more apparent when we start talking about if, else, but consider this for now. If a statement's a sentence, think of the begin and end as the ability to define paragraphs. They allow us to define groupings of statements that would make sense to run together. For instance, here you'll see an example of some statements where we are declaring two variables that we are then printing. We're declaring A as 10 and B as 20, and we're adding them together. And they're within a code block. There's a beginning of the block with a begin, and there's the end of the block with an end. These statements will run in sequence, starting at the beginning of the begin block all the way to the end. To promote readability, it's best practice to indent the code within the block. Again, these blocks later on are used to help build other constructs like if, then, as well as while loops. That's where we're really going to start seeing them shine because with those types of statements, they will need to use the block to understand what statements are run within them. That's where we'll start to see blocks uh, in you. So I'll see you in the next session, and we will start to use begin ends then.